Hello everybody, this is Donna Gray, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. Just a quick video today, I'm going to be using our new waterfront stamp set. This is a beautiful um, watercolour stamp set that is absolutely fantastic. Looks like you do scenes and you've watercolored them and painted them and the stamps do all the hard work for you. So this is a lovely set. So I'm just going to do a quick card today. This is our card that we're going to make and it has um, a nice inside as well. So we're just going to do a quick card. Okay, so I have our beautiful fresh fig as our base and it's scored, it's cut at five and three quarter inches, sorry, five and three quarter inches by eight inches and it's scored at four. You will have a mountain and a valley fold. The valley goes to the outside of the card, the mountain goes to the inside of the card. So we're just going to fold the base of our card. And then we have two pieces of Whisper White for our front and our back, uh, our inside of our card. So we're just going to take the first bit for the front to start off with. And all I've found with this watercolour stamp set is you just need to take your time and build your landscape, okay? So you have a couple of elements in here. This one here I normally use for like water areas and this one here I use for mountains. So totally up to you. This one here I use for um, variegation in the water and this one here I normally use for a bit of land just before the mountains start, okay? So um, I've just had a bit of a play around with it and honestly, each to their own and I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different to my first one here so I'm using soft sky for my water and I'm actually going to do the water up the other way I did it the opposite way in my first card and I've decided I'm gonna do it this way in this card okay so as you can see, lovely watercolour effect there. Now in your stamp set, there is this piece here that's sort of a thick piece and then it's got a few gaps and then another thick piece. So I'm actually, with my Island Indigo, I'm actually going to stamp with the Island Indigo and that's going to create a bit of dimension in the water. Okay. Okay, now with um, my lemon lime twist, actually no, I'm going to do the bubbles in the water first. So there's um, bubbles in our stamp set. And I'm randomly, with my Island Indigo, I'm just going to stamp them randomly down through the bottom. And it just creates like a bubbled effect. Okay. And then I'm going to come back through. Now it's totally up to you whether you want to um, use the greenery as your land near your water. Um, I decided that I would use the lemon lime twist um, to have some nice green grassy area. Now there's a long thin bit. That's the bit that I chose to do the grassed area with. And I'm just at the top of the water there, going to pop a little bit along. Now you can go back over where you've stamped to create a nice enough look. You can play with this, you can add dimension, you can, um, in our um, catalog launch class, one of my customers actually did the horizontal version instead of the vertical version so it was actually quite different to see something a bit different to that too. Okay now I'm going to bring in the bit that we used the water you can use that for a big mountain if you wanted to so I'm actually going to do it a little bit different this time I'm going to use it as a big mountain over to the side and I'm going to use a small mountain. So I just want to show you how you can actually make these pictures look so different 
just by stamping a few of the elements a little bit different. So I'm using crumb cake for the mountain. I'm going to stamp over this way for that big one. Okay. Then I'm going to take the smaller one and I'm going to stamp him here. And then I'm going to stamp again here to add a bit more dimension. But as you can see, it creates a really nice, beautiful scene very easily. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in my lemon lime twist again, and I'm going to do our trees. I'm going to pop the trees just in here. Okay. And we have Daffodil Delight. We'll pop the sun up in the corner. Up here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do the sentiment. Actually, this time I'm going to do it with the Bermuda Bay, I think. Just to make it look a little bit different. Now the sentiment says, every little kindness makes the world a brighter place. I'm just going to pop that just up in that top area there. And then, as you'll notice, there's a little bit of shading for the sky. Now I did that with our light blue marker our um, soft sky, the light colour in the soft sky in the blends. I actually think I'm going to try doing it just with the soft sky ink pad. And I'm just going to create a bit of a, a bit of a cloudy sort of sky. Okay, now for the inside piece, we just went through that motion again, so I'm going to do the water, and then this time we stamped off, so I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper. Okay, so water, I'm going to go down this way again. Okay, the island indigo. And we'll bring in the lemon lime twist again, put a bit of land in there, a bit of grass. Okay, just I'm going to do just the small mountain inside for this one. So the crumb cake. So, and we'll grab the bubbles again and just do some bubbles. Down the bottom. I'm just going to do those in soft sky this time. Just want a bit of a lighter effect. Okay. And the sentiment that was used is, and the hard times get easier. There it is there, that one. Tiny one, and we'll use the Island Indigo again.
Okay, now we've just got to stick them together. So I'll bring in the Tombow and my front layer, Tombow on the back. And you don't need to use a lot of the Tombow, it sticks really well and um, because you don't need to use a lot, it lasts a fair while too. It gives you that wiggle time to be able to move it exactly where you want. And for the inside piece, the wiggle room, we can move it exactly where we want it, get a nice border all the way around. And there you go. That is a quick, easy, simple card using our waterfront stamp set. Now this stamp set, I am doing a card class. Um, it's a prepaid card class. And with my card classes, what I've decided to do, even though I hold card classes in um, my own home, I am happy to do card classes online at the same time live at the same time so if you wanted to participate in an online card class a, a, a live card class like that i'm doing this card class on the 22nd of january if you wanted to actually attend as a live attendee i am happy to go live at the same time as doing the class and um i can send you out the class packet but this is a pre-order class so for the pre-order class it costs $40 to attend the class. That covers the cost of your stamp set as well as your class fee. Um, and I'm happy if you wanted to attend live, if you wanted to purchase it. But there's only one day left to purchase this card class. So it has to be purchased by the 11th of the 12th of, of January so I can order it in in time. And I can then post out your items. So um, there would be an added charge of the postage of the stamp set and the class packet out to you, but I'd try to keep that down as low as I possibly could. Okay, so if you're interested in doing that, please feel free to give me a call. So thank you for watching, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.